Hey, this is Joseph Lebrecht, and I'm going to be talking about a little utility called te Telemetry Easy. And the reason that I created this was as a helper application to add advanced telemetry to things that were built in Flash Professional or Flex projects that are built with, with Flash Builder or whatever for use in Adobe Scout. So let's have a look first at Flash Builder. So Flash Builder 4.7 has this nice new feature. Um, if we look inside of this little AS3 test here, if we go to Properties, we'll see that under ActionScript Compiler, we can choose to enable detailed telemetry if we want to. And then when we compile our application, it'll be available to us in Scout. If I go to this Flex project, however, and go to Properties, you can see in the Flex compiler, there actually isn't any way of enabling that advanced telemetry option in here. So it would produce a SWIF that does not have telemetry enabled. Very similar to Flash Professional. So here's an actual FLA I distribute with this application. And if we go into our published settings, we can see that, yeah, there's, there's actually no advanced telemetry option here. If we were to compile this, it would compile as an application, a little SWIFT, that does not have telemetry enabled. So I have Scout opened here. And if we run this little SWIFT right now, so there's our Swift running. If we open up Scout, we can see that Scout's picking up telemetry data from this. But if we look at telemetry here, we can see that uh, detailed metrics are disabled, action script samplers disabled, and all this other stuff is disabled. So we really can't get a whole lot of information from this. You can see we give it a warning here in the action script area to use this panel compiler application with the advanced telemetry option. So let's close that Swift and we'll minimize Scout. So what I've done to sort of help with this, you know, Adobe actually has this little Python script that they distribute, this add, add opt-in Python script. Basically what you would do is you can install Python and it gives you the different um, types of Pythons that have been tested here. And you just have to run the Swift, the, rather the script against your Swift and it will add the necessary tags to enable advanced telemetry. So here's the Python uh, programming language page. You'd go to downloads and you'd have to find the, the download that works for you and so forth. And people have had problems with the Python 3 downloads. Uh, so it's it's kind of a pain in the butt. You've got to be able to install it, set up your path uh, in your Windows environment, and then go ahead and you know figure out where to go in the command line to get this all working and to get your Swift uh, you know, input correctly with the script and so forth. It's, it's a pain. So I came up with this telemetry easy uh, air application, which basically wraps that Python script in a native process to be able to execute it without having to install Python and without having to know any of the command line stuff to have to actually do this successfully. So if you go to, to my web blog, it's just inflagrantodelicto.memoryspiral.com, you can find telemetry easy and it's a little download right here. So what I've done is actually used the script from Adobe along with this Python standalone distribution. And this distribution only comes in Windows. So as a result, telemetry easy only works in Windows. Okay, so you've got to be using Windows to use this app. But what you'll download is the telemetry easy executable, the installer. You'll download the test FLA and the test Swift that we've seen already. So let's run the installer. And this is going to go ahead and install Telemetry Easy on my machine. And it 
should be popping up anytime here. Oh, here we go. So we can see telemeter easy, and I've got some information in here about it. Add a shortcut, start the app after install. Sure, that sounds great. Let's continue. I'll give it permission to install, and there it goes. Just wait for that to happen. And now that it's happened, you can see that we have telemetry easy installed on our desktop, and it's actually popped open right here. And all it is is a little drag and drop utility. So I can grab the Swift that we've already tested in Monocle, or Adobe Scout rather, and just kind of drag that right onto telemetry easy. And it tells us, hey, added the opt-in flag with no password. You can also add a password through that Python script, but telemetry easy doesn't uh, enable that yet. Maybe 9.1 or something, I'll, I'll enable that. So we can actually just exit out of telemetry easy now. And let's open Scout up again. So we can see that nothing's going on here just yet. We've got our test Swift, the data from that, and then there's some, some stuff from our install that we can actually get rid of. So let's right click on here and say close others. No. So then only our test Swift data is there. And with Scout running, I'm going to run the Swift that we just processed through telemetry easy. And again, telemetry test. Let's open up Scout once again. And go down to our running Swift here. And we can see right away in this telemetry section that detailed metrics are enabled and all of these different data settings are also enabled. So we're getting all sorts of detailed information about the application. Of course, this doesn't do anything. So let's close it. And here, we're able to you know, use Scout as normal. We can go through and uh, you know, click on some of these things and get some data about exactly what's going on in any of our stuff. There's obviously not a lot of data in here because the Swift is just a dumb Swift just for testing this, but you can definitely see switching between both of them. We've got disabled to enabled on the same Swift. So that's what telemetry easy does. That's how to use it. It's super simple. Um, I appreciate any feedback you could give on it if it's useful to you. And if anybody wants to work on a Mac port or has any ideas about that, please let me know. Thanks.